a Dear Media original podcast. Today's episode is brought to us by Seed. Gut health, probiotics, and microbiome are buzzing in conversation, headlines and hashtags, and discoveries in the microbiome research are transforming medicine, hygiene, diet, and the choices that we make every day for our health. So with this new frontier, however, comes an absolute overload of information and misinformation, and that can feel really confusing and overwhelming. And that's really where seed comes in. And the DS01 Daily Symbiotic is so high quality and so well-researched. It's something that I really trust. They develop scientifically validated, clinically studied next-generation probiotics for people and the planet. And the thing about it is if you've ever taken probiotics before and you haven't really felt a difference, it's likely that the capsule wasn't even designed to survive your stomach acid and the bile salts and the digestive enzymes. Seed is completely different now more than ever. It is so important to trust science and integrity when it comes to learning about and maintaining a healthy microbiome. Seed is the company that I really trust. Seed's DS01 Daily Symbiotic is a plant-based prebiotic and probiotic with 24 strains that have been clinically or scientifically studied for its benefits. I remember I started taking seed when I was pregnant with Oliver. And at the time, after I was done with my first pack, I ran out and went to a different one. And I really felt the difference. And I've been on it ever since. I'm a really big believer. It makes me feel incredibly regular and balanced. And I do feel like I'm keeping the diversity of my microbiome incredibly healthy. I know this was a ton of information, but I think it's important because seed really is the real deal when it comes to a probiotic, one that's backed by clinical trials and scientific data. Visit seed.com slash instincts and use the code instincts to redeem 30% off your first month of seeds DS01 daily symbiotic. That's seed.com slash instincts and use the code instincts. Hi, welcome to Good Instincts. I'm Shira Barlow, but you may know me as the food therapist. Join me every Monday through Friday for bite-sized episodes designed to help you close the gap between where you are right now and where you want to go. This should feel good, like really good. And it will, I promise. Okay, today's episode is a shit I'm loving. Let's jump right in. The first thing, I mentioned this on Instagram the other day, but it bears repeating because people went wild for it. And I'm always like, do I want to talk about something cleaning related? Because it feels a little like mom talk. But this, I do feel like is a game changer. So it is a silicone sponge. I find sponges to be foul. Like I feel like you use them a couple times and there's like a mildew hint and it's not for me. And the thing about the silicone sponge is that it works. It works the same way that any sponge does. But then when you're done, you put it in the dishwasher or you just like clean it off. But because it's silicone, it's not going to get mildewy. I'm obsessed. I will link it in the episode description and I just highly recommend Okay, so the next is a friend of mine, Elise Lonin, is probably one of the smartest people I know. She is now a very big shot author and she has a new book coming out called On Our Best Behavior, The Seven Deadly Sins and the Price Women Pay to Be Good. It is absolutely phenomenal. But if you're the kind of person who kind of wants to like dip your toe in on a person, she wrote this New York Times article it was called The Lies Mothers Tell Themselves and Their Children. And it was so beautifully written. It like ripped my heart out and it was so nuanced. And I think anytime someone is taking a really nuanced look at, for instance, their childhood experience and they can recognize things that happened from all angles and things that were good and things that weren't good and things that may have been good for their parents, but not necessarily good for them. It is so so incredible. And again, it like really did rip my heart out. And I'm I'm really not biased. I feel like for me to read a book at this point, it has to be like absolutely incredible. And the New York Times article was phenomenal. So we'll link that as well. 
The next is colostrum. We had done an entire episode trying the colostrum, and it was one of those things that I really bought into the science of it all, but I wasn't actually taking it. So it checked out for me in terms of being safe and making sense that it could be helpful. But then recently, my skin started kind of flaring up. I'm the kind of person who, like, when I'm really stressed and busy, that's the shoe that's going to fall off for me. And it did recently, and I got kind of just like a raw on my cheek. And I've been taking it. I've been taking the Armra, and it's phenomenal. And I really do think that it helps with the gut lining. I think for me, I know that when I get stressed and just like overworked, the gut lining gets irritated and that really translates to skin troubles for me. So I am a believer that's the follow-up. And the last is I found this Instagram account by Jake Cohen. He had a sun-dried tomato mayo. I was so into it because I, at my childhood best friend, her mom, shout out to Becky Moore, who does listen, she used to make the most insane sandwiches for my best friend. And we all used to like literally try and barter for them at lunchtime. And she always had some kind of like a special spread, whether it was like a sun-dried tomato situation or a pesto situation. So the way he did this is he took one jar of sun-dried tomatoes in oil. He took two tablespoons of lemon juice. He does one tablespoon of honey. That's something I would leave out, but totally do you. One teaspoon Dijon, one garlic clove, He does an egg yolk, but if you were vegan or you didn't want to do that, you could also play around with like the chickpea juice, which tends to really emulsify in the same way, and salt and pepper, and he just blends that up in a food processor. It turns out so beautiful, and I think it's the kind of thing that would elevate, like for me, I would do like an elevated turkey club on romaine with maybe fresh tomato and avocado. I would maybe even put some bacon on there. I'm always looking for ways to elevate something that I kind of want and have all the time anyways, but so we're not recreating the wheel, but making it feel special. And this really does the trick. And I think it would stay good in like an airtight container for a week. So those are the things that I'm absolutely loving this week. I would love to know if there's anything you're loving. Will you let me know? Come find me on Instagram at Shira underscore RD. And tomorrow is a special guest. I will see you there. Thank you so much for listening to Good Instincts, hosted and written by me, Shira Barlow. You can find me on Instagram at Shira underscore RD. Good Instincts is a Dear Media Daily. Today's episode is brought to us by Seed. Gut health, probiotics, and microbiome are buzzing in conversation, headlines and hashtags, and discoveries in the microbiome research are transforming medicine, hygiene, diet, and the choices that we make every day for our health. So with this new frontier, however, comes an absolute overload of information and misinformation, and that can feel really confusing and overwhelming. And that's really where seed comes in. And the DS01 Daily Symbiotic is so high quality and so well-researched. It's something that I really trust. They develop scientifically validated, clinically studied next generation probiotics for people and the planet. And the thing about it is if you've ever taken probiotics before and you haven't really felt a difference, it's likely that the capsule wasn't even designed to survive your stomach acid and the bile salts and the digestive enzymes. Seed is completely different now more than ever. It is so important to trust science and integrity when it comes to learning about and maintaining a healthy microbiome. Seed is the company that I really trust. Seed's DS01 Daily Symbiotic is a plant-based prebiotic and probiotic with 24 strains that have been clinically or scientifically studied for its benefits. I remember I started taking Seed when I was pregnant with Oliver. And at the time, after I was done with my first pack, I ran out and went to a different one. And I really felt the difference. And I've been on it ever since. I'm a really big believer. It makes me feel incredibly regular and balanced. And I do feel like I'm keeping the diversity of my microbiome incredibly healthy. I know this was a ton of information, but I think it's important because seed really is the real deal when it comes to a probiotic, one that's backed by clinical trials and scientific data. Visit seed.com slash instincts and use the code instincts to redeem 
30% off your first month of Seed's DS01 Daily Symbiotic. That's seed.com slash instincts and use the code instincts.